all this drama unfolded right here behind me in this large parking lot at a liquor store you see over here. According to police, an estranged husband met up with his former wife and her new boyfriend. And well, as you might imagine, it didn't take long for things to turn ugly. An estranged husband is locked up and a lover is dead after a meeting between the two ended with one of them having an axe. This is essentially a safe area for the most part, so it's startling to begin with that it would happen here. Police say the trouble began when 47-year-old Dimitro Lapko confronted his estranged wife and her boyfriend, Levon Galdava, in this liquor store parking lot in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. It's not clear if Lapko plans to meet his estranged wife in this area on Ocean and Voorhees Avenues, or if he surprised her. Police say Lapko lives in Staten Island. Around 9 p.m. Thursday night, witnesses said they heard a lot of angry yelling coming from here and then several gunshots. According to police, Lapko came armed. They say when the fighting started, Lapko pulled out a hatchet and struck the boyfriend, Galdava, in the head. But that wasn't enough. Police say he then pulled out a handgun and shot the boyfriend in the chest, firing off multiple rounds. This gentleman came prepared. He had a hatchet. He had a gun. He didn't. It's not like this happened at the spur of the moment. Uh, it appears that uh, from the little that I've gathered, he planned this. When police arrived, they say they found Galdava bleeding on the ground with Lapko's estranged wife next to him, pointing at her estranged husband, who was still at the scene. Galdava, who was from Brooklyn, was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. The estranged husband, Lapko, was taken into custody. This uh, gentleman who was murdered, who he may have parents, children, sisters, brothers, he may have co-workers, bosses, he may have employees, is a ripple effect. The suspect, 47-year-old Dimitro Lapko, is in jail behind bars tonight. He has been charged with murder, along with two separate criminal possession of weapons charges. One charge for the handgun and another for the hatchet he allegedly had on him.